Hey guys, it's Alana with the friendly band Sunshine Loom. Today we're going to be making the Valentine ring. Before we begin, let's pick out our colors. I already have my rubber bands organized in the lid that I keep underneath my Sunshine Loom. Today I'm going to be using black, garnet, red, and a little bit of orange. So first we're going to pull forward from 24 to 26, 25 to 27, 26 to 28, and then 27 to 28. Now we're going to lay down the heart charm. So we're doing this from 28 to 5 with garnet. And I'm going to outline the whole charm in garnet. So going forward from 5 to 6, 6 to 7, and 7 to 8. Going back to the beginning, I'm going to go from 28 to 52, 52 to 53, 53 to 54, 54 to 55, and then you can see these two sides line up. We're going to go inward from 55 to 32 and then downward from 32 to 8. So we're going from 8 to 10, 9 to 11, 10 to 12, and then a double loop on 11 and 12. We're going to move over to the other side. So we're doing two steps at once here. We're locking in place and setting. We're going to lay down a triple band on peg number 54. So we're going to attach, twist, and pull over, twist, and pull back over. Now we're going to insert our hook into the triple loop we just made and turn that around and then we're going to attach a red rubber band and then twist your hook and pull it through. I'll show you that again. We're going to do the next one. So we're going to attach an orange rubber band this time. Go through your triple loop attach your rubber band, twist, pull through, and reattach. And for this one, we're going to put another one on the chain. So attach your rubber band, twist, just so you don't get this hook attached to the rubber band pulling through. And then you pull through and reattach. Now you want to make sure that nothing is twisted so the two sides of the orange rubber band that are attached to the triple move independently of each other. And the same goes for this band here. They both move independently of each other. Then we're going to reattach all of these rubber bands onto peg number six. Now we're going back for another red. Insert through the triple loop. Attach your red rubber band, twist, and reattach. Then we're going to drag that over to peg number five. Now we're going back to our triple loop with orange this time. Attach, twist, and reattach. Going for red, attach, twist reattach, and this goes over to peg number 28. Okay, now we're going back to our triple loop. We're actually going to go for orange again. Attach, twist, and reattach. And then red, attach, twist, and reattach. And then we're going to put this 
on to peg number 52. You can pull that down just a little bit. You want to insert that into the orange you just put down. Attach a red, twist, and reattach. And this goes right up here on peg 53. We're going through the triple loop. Attach your orange, twist, and reattach. Then for red, attach, twist, reattach. And we're going to pull these rubber bands over to peg 55. And again, we want to check, make sure our sides are moving independently of each other. We're going to go through the orange and attach, twist, and reattach. And we're going to pull across to peg number 32. Now we have one more set left. So we're going to take an orange through our triple loop, attach, twist, reattach, and then red, attach, twist, reattach. And we're pulling this over to peg number eight. And this is what your sunshine loom should look like after step one of the Valentine ring. Now we're moving on to step two, locking our pattern in place. We're going to begin over on the hook side since we already locked in place the center of the heart. And we're going to pull back our double loop and grab the bottom black rubber band. And that goes forward to peg number 10. Then we're going to grab the rubber band off of peg number 11 and pull that forward to peg number nine off of peg 10 and forward to 8. And then we're going to pull back the red rubber bands and grab this diagonal garnet rubber band here. You can see this rubber band, this is the one we want. So we're going to grab that and pull over to peg 32 and then push back everything but the bottom and grab that bottom garnet FP rubber band and pull up to peg 55, push back and hook over, push back and hook over. And this could happen to you, my orange slid underneath here. So that's okay, we're just going to pull that off so this rubber band can come out and move freely. And pull back and hook forward. And then one more. Now we're going back over to the beginning of the heart charm. Push back the red rubber bands, pull garnet forward. Push back red, garnet forward. And two more times. And then a couple more steps here. We're just going to pull the top black FB rubber band and that moves forward to peg 27. Push back and pull forward to peg 26. So we're pulling off of 27, over 26 and 25, off of 26, across 25 and 24. And this is what your sunshine limb should look like after step two of the Valentine ring. Now we're moving on to step three, removing our creation. So you're going to put your FB hook through all of the rubber bands on peg number 24, pull slightly, and then slide on your FB link, as easy as that. And then we're going to gently tug from side to side, removing our creation. You could hit a snag on peg 25, it's just a little bit tight. You can pull that off by hand. And then once we get to the other side and we have just one rubber band, I'm going to 
use my FB hook and pull that tight so I can slide on my link a little easier. And then we do just a little tug to straighten out and flatten the rubber bands. And there you have it, the Valentine ring from the Friendly Band Sunshine Loom. Bye guys, see you later.